look at a place like this with a center of X and you know, everyone's first thought is, yeah, it's a rehab center, but it's more than that. you were during practice as well. Your profile, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I have from yeah, you. Yeah. Well, hey, you were close to send a PR yeah, with us. Yeah. So <laughs> imagine if you were with us a little longer, you probably would, right? Yeah. But our goal is to get you out there and maximize your availability, you know, yeah, take you to the next level. No doubt. Awesome, man. I appreciate it, boss. Yeah, dude. Thank you, man. Yeah. We have the ability here inside these walls to improve somebody's performance, not just get them back to their baseline. We know with our coaching staff here and our AT staff here and the equipment that we have here and the tech, we're able to maintain or improve their performance. Marcel is a great example, right? Here, here's a guy, Marcel, came into us, had two hamstrings going on, double hamstring, spent a few weeks with us. We were able to use some cool tech on him to make sure that he was progressing how we wanted him to progress. Specifically, we used Catapult, we used Vault Force Plates, and we used the Vault Dynamo to test his hamstring strength from a week-to-week -week basis. And what we saw was over that course of two or three weeks, Marcel was able to show really good numbers on all of those metrics that we tested. Specifically with Catapult, this guy ran nine 97% of his top speed here in rehab. So we felt really confident sending him back to the St. Louis Battlehawks, and now he's able to give St. Louis a chance as they go in here for this playoff push. Like, it's really important for a team like St. Louis. They're fighting for that number two spot. They need a guy like Marcel to go out there and make plays. So we're really excited for that, and we're looking forward to him make plays out there this weekend. You know, this is a great opportunity for guys that have went through whatever situations, injuries, um, things dealing with the team or this or that, whatever, whatever it happened, this is a opportunity for guys to come here and show that they still can play um, and just continue to develop and continue to work on your game and work on your craft and continue to learn. So this is, this is big for a lot of guys, not even just myself, but for me, um, it just gave me an opportunity to continue to play. I feel really good. I know I still have the rest of this week to kind of, you know, ease back into it. Um, but I feel really good. Like, it feels strong. I feel good. I feel fast. Um, change the direction and everything. So this is exactly what I needed. Okay. Now listen, start hydrating. That's right, going to be about 83 degrees. It might be a little damp and humid. I don't know. All right, for you guys that don't like water, you know who you are, all right, start drinking some stuff now. Pedialyte, get that stuff in your body. All right, get that stuff in your body so we're ready to go. All right, we need all hand on deck this week. I mean, we need everybody. Took everybody last week, man, and look, look, look at the result. The result was real good when we were all out there doing our thing. All right, we got to do it again this week. Hakeem, break us down, man. Uh, good work today. Battle Hawks on three. One, two, three. Battle Hawks. Look, man. 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 Look, uh, feeling and just that energy from the game is going to be fun.
It's a blessing, man, because you can never take this game for granted. You can never take anything for granted because you never know when you're down, whenever you're up. So shout out to Azita and Steve. Everybody over there at Center X, man, they did a really good job with me and helping me get back, man. So I'm, I'm really appreciative. I'll call you